I'm Deepti Payton, Tax Counsel here at the Tax Institute for those of you who I haven't met yet. And I'll be chairing this session with our very expert panel who will be speaking on a range of issues. I'll introduce them all as they come up and speak. They'll be speaking for 15 minutes. We'll hold questions to the end. There will be time. Um, first, we are hearing from Jeremy Gill, who's providing an update on loyalty schemes. Jeremy's a legal practitioner director with KPMG Tax Lawyers in Sydney and is responsible for their legal practice. He assists a variety of clients and disputes with the ATO across all taxes, including GST. Prior to KPMG, Jeremy was a barrister also specialising in taxation. While at the bar, Jeremy appeared for both the Commissioner and taxpayers in a variety of matters in the AAT Federal Court and High Court. Well-known GST matters which Jeremy has appeared in include Lancel House, the Cracker case, as we heard about yesterday, Department of Transport and Qantas. The experience of having acted for both sides means that Jeremy has an appreciation of the approach and arguments that may be adopted by the Commissioner and the taxpayer, whether the matter is negotiated, litigated or one of advice. He's also an external member of the ATO's public rulings panel and a member of our Internal Dispute Resolution Subcommittee and GST Subcommittee. Please welcome Jeremy. Thank you. I think I started with loyalty because that's what you get if um, you turn up at 8.30 in the morning to listen to tax. How do we work this? Uh, we saw li late last month the release of the uh, loyalty programs ruling and really that is in response to um, a few things. Uh, what we had in the area of loyalty programs was we had a press release by the Commissioner back in 2000 which essentially said that no GST applied um, to, the, to a supply of rewards under a loyalty program and points. The, so the statements up there, the accrual and conversion of redemption of points by members into goods or services will not be subject to GST. Um, and we also had a few comments around that on the issues register, but nothing more. And there was no explanation as to how we got to that point um, and what the basis for the view was. Um, this would have been somewhat of a concern to a number of people who operated loyalty programs because certainly overseas the revenue authorities have been quite active in this area and in particular attacking the right of operators of loyalty, of loyalty programs on their rights to claim input tax credits for the provision of rewards.